On today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to fix those uneven or loose planks on your flooring. So stay tuned. Today's episode is a special request by a fellow subscriber who was asking, Hey, could you show us how to fix those loose planks or those ones that click when you step on them or are just uneven and loose? So what I have here is a perfect example of that. I found one on my flooring near the vent system. And this one is actually a click and lock system floor that I have, which is LVP luxury vinyl plank flooring. So this plank or this type of flooring doesn't require any glue or any nails. It just pretty much locks together with the click and lock system. So here in the Pacific Northwest, we have four seasons, meaning that the temperatures go from high to low. And being the location of this damage on my flooring, it is near a vent system. And I have heating and cooling inside my home. And this constantly goes all year round. So meaning that no matter how much you prep around this flooring, how much you make this even prep it before you put the flooring, it'll eventually start warping and it'll eventually expand and contract because your subfloor is made out of wood just a word of caution before you start doing this step by step make sure you check your warranty on your flooring because any modifications that you might do might void it if you watch my past video on how to fix those gaps between flooring these are the same tools that i use which is the suction cup and the wooden mallet i'll leave all the tools that i use on the description down below but if you we track down the where this flooring leads to you can see that i haven't put baseboards yet your flooring should have at least a quarter gap on each end now you have a choice between how to separate this flooring to get to that damage we're gonna have to separate where that loose part is to the other floor so this means this we have to shift this all the way to the end i highly suggest is when you fix a damaged plank you move the whole row all together meaning that you start from this to the damaged area all the way to the end you don't want to move each plank one by one because eventually the click and lock system built in here will break so here's an example do that i will sacrifice this plank for you friends to show you that example of why it is a bad idea to do this one by one shifting each plank over to get to the damaged area now if you watch my previous video on how to fix gaps this sections tool is amazing it works really really well and it will shift those and make the job easier so check out that video on the right side so let's give it a good tap and it looked like it actually separated already. It looks easy. It looks like it's good. It's fine. But if you look closely, we just damaged the click and lock system on this. So that means that, yeah, it's pretty much broken. One problem, you already created two. So there we have it. You don't want to do this. I highly suggest that you do one row fully. I know it's going to be might be challenging, but do your best. Make sure you tap it so that all the rows move from that area so that it'll prevent you from causing that problem right there. Okay, so now we are going to lock it in place and we're going to shift the whole thing to the right. So take your suction tool and then we're going to tap and separate this from that damaged area. We're going to give it a good tap and it should separate like that so if you this is still a small gap we want to make it a little bit longer so give it a few more taps here i am using my 10 to 1 tool and i'm just trying to gouge out where the, like what happened to that example the click and lock system was damaged that's why this thing was loose to begin with and that's what's causing the clicks and the unevenness of of this type of flooring Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to try to take out that damaged area. You can use this 10 and 1 and you can also use this uh, utility knife. And we're just going to pry that area off and take this ex excess piece out. So make sure that you take your time doing this. Again, there's no rush. Just carefully take it out. And here you have it. Here's that example of that damaged system. And what we're going to do now is we're going to fill this area with my method okay so but first we're going to apply masking tape on each side get as close to the edge as possible with your masking tape this is will allow us to prevent from any area around this area to get damaged because we're going to be using some glue or adhesive and we're going to actually start working on this area and we don't want to damage it even further i'm using this syringe i'll leave the link on the description down below of where i got this it has this tube this rubber tube right here we're going to first test it out if this actually works it comes in various sizes sizes of tubing 
And what we're going to do is we're going to start injecting this with caulking that I'm going to show you, friends. And the point of this is the flexible hose. We can maneuver this around the area without actually having to drill. Now we're going to try this out first. This is actually an experiment. You'll see how I made some mistakes and I'll show you those mistakes late, um, later on. First, we're going to fill this area with caulking. We're not going to need much depending on how big or how wide your boards are. It all matters of how much you put onto this. So I'm only going to be putting a little bit of caulking and I'm going to, you know, put it in here and lock it in place with this syringe. Now, as you can see, mistake number one that I did was um, I didn't know actually that this was not stable. So right when I was trying to press this through the tube, this eventually started starting to shift and eventually it popped out just like what you see here. Right when I applied pressure, it popped out. So obviously this one didn't work. So I just pretty much just took it out because if I continued doing this, it continued to bubble like that. It eventually clogged up and this tube did not work. But the syringe will work with that end of the tip open. So we can still make it usable. Now I'm going to be using this 332nd bit because that tubing didn't work. We're going to go to plan B, which is we're going to drill onto that. And this, I actually made a video also on that and how to fill hollow spots. This is the same type of technique. Okay, so we're going to drill the hole and we're going to inject this caulking right inside there. Now you're probably asking, why are you injecting caulking in there? This is a floating floor. This will prevent it from moving. Again, that's why I'm using the big stretch. This thing will eventually harden underneath there and it will eventually shift with the stretch because this caulking allows movement. I'm applying some foil onto this uh, holder because I'm going to be spraying some activator on this because we're going to be using a glue and uh, activator. So this activator that I'm using is a 2P10 um, and also the activator on the right. We're going to apply this to the boards. I'm going to using I'm using my Q-tip right here and I'm going to apply a little bit of a CA glue. This is what we also call it or you can just say super glue and we're going to dab it onto one end with this Q-tip. So be very very gentle. Be don't put too much. Just put as what it needs on that end. Don't overdo it because it will leave some uh, clunks or chunks on there under each end. So after you do that, we're going to spray a little bit of activator. Be, be very, very fast on this because it'll actually start drying out and it'll evaporate. So I'm just applying that activator on the other side with the Q-tip and we are going to start putting this together. Right after you do that, we're going to tap this to the end. Again, you can use the suction cup like this one. You can tap it back in with this method or if you prefer, if this doesn't work or if it just, just doesn't shift, you can use this pull bar that comes with this kit, this mallet that I bought. I'll leave it in the description down below as well. But you can use this mallet and you can tap it to close up that gap. Okay, so right after you tap this, you're going to see that you're going to have to tap right around it to make shift it right in place to where you want it to make it even. And you're going to quickly take out the masking tape around it. Now, word of caution, you will have some masking tape due to the glue. It will start to adhere on some areas, just like what you're seeing here, which is perfectly fine. It's okay. This is why we put this here so we don't get glue all over the area. And you can just use your utility knife to gently, gently scrape off all that excess uh, masking tape or glue that you see on that area. Again, be very, very careful and not and try not to scratch your flooring okay so after you do that you can see that that area that we filled with caulking we pushed down some excess will come out just take out the excess and again give this a few um, hours to dry okay so this will probably take a few days depending on the area but don't worry just make sure that you mark off the area so nobody steps on that area so that it doesn't disturb it okay now cleaning your syringe is very easy just run it with hot water and it should clean just fine here I am using my Weller. This is the Weller um, plastic uh, solder or sol solder. I don't know how you s uh, say it, but it's a it's an iron. Okay. What I'm doing is I'm taking my extra piece of LVP and I'm just taking a little bit of uh, chunks out. This is gonna be what we're gonna use to solder this into that hole. 
So I'm just taking a tiny little bit of piece and I'm using my Q-tip to clean around that area before we start doing this. Now this technique is very awesome. It's great to hide that imperfection. We're just taking a few of those shavings that we did right when we drilled. And again, we're just gonna gently tap this iron on there. You don't wanna keep it too long in there. Just tap it, tap it as you go and make sure you feather out with your other hands as you go as well because leaving this iron too long there will burn it. This lvp is plastic friends so it will burn don't keep it there too long practice on a separate piece before you actually do this to your main okay so what i'm doing here slightly just tapping around it feathering it in and as you go fill as you need and then what i'm doing now is just a good technique of just tapping and spreading it around while it's still um able to move around okay so right this is a really great technique friends i highly suggest doing this right when you perfect it because here's what it is after you do this it will eventually hide that hole and i know from afar from the top you won't even see this that you actually filled this up and it, it's, it works great for capping these lvp right when you scratch it you see how i'm just scratching it with my fingernails it's starting to just blend in and disappear and trust me from the top view if you're four five or six footer from the top you will never see this small it'll just feel look like it's part of the flooring and right now i'm just seeing showing you how how well this technique works it's not moving you can tell that that glue held so well on this area and that right when we're moving it's just nice and stiff and it's that movement or that clicking is finally gone sure you might see a little bit of glue residue around there that's why you just have to be careful and try not to get that glue ever because you might get that residue you want to try to make it as perfect as possible so now let's put back the vent cover and let me show you what it looked like before here's you have the unevenness and right when you tap it it clicks it moves around and here's what it looks like now friends all even very sturdy you can you can pretty much pound on this step on it and if you did it right it will not move so here's a few tests i'm just tapping and pressing against all the other areas and yeah moving around it i'm pounding on it there's no movement it is completely close completely even and yeah it works perfectly well if you found big value to this please hit that big thumbs up subscribe press that notification bell so you can always be in tune on diy's how-to videos and product reviews that i do within this channel thank you so much friends i'll see you in the next video